Hello friends, in the present video, we will study about the vertical stress due to uniform line load. So, in the previous videos, we have seen how to find a vertical stress due to a point load. In this video, we will see about if there is a uniform line load, how we have to find the vertical stress. So here, let me write down vertical stress due to uniform line load. The name itself represents what is meant by line load. Is it having any area? No. And also the intensity is constant throughout the length. Okay. Uh, let us consider there is a ground surface. Okay. And on this ground surface, let us say there is a line load acting up to a length, some portion. Let us assume that. And let us say the intensity is Q. Either it may be Newton per meter or you can say it as a kilo Newton per meter. Okay. Now, let us say you are representing by some magnitudes. Let us say this is representing by using X and let us say this is by using some Z. If this is a ground surface, suppose we want to find out stress at any point. Let us say the point where you are finding the stress having coordinates X and Z. Then we can find out this stress that will be equal to written as 2q divided by pi z into 1 divided by 1 plus x divided by z whole square. x and z are nothing but a coordinates of the point where you are finding the vertical stress. Now, this formula has derived by using elastic theory. And this formula can be applicable for any type of the soil okay let us say if you are finding at x equal to 0 that means along the coordinate axis z so the equation will become sigma z that will be equal to simply nothing but a 2q divided by pi z so by using these two relations we can find out stress at any point if there is a line load acting on the soil let us see some example on that Okay, now let us say that the infinite line load, the infinite line load as shown in the figure, as shown in the figure, has an intensity, has an intensity of 600 kilo Newton per meter. Okay. Then determine the determine the stress at point A. Okay. That means here the line load is infinite. That means acting continuously on the ground surface. Let us assume what is the magnitude given? 600 kilo Newton per meter and what is the reference axis X and what is the reference axis Z. So they are asking us to find out the stress at point A. So the coordinates for the given point is let us say 5 comma 4. That means X equal to 5 meter Z is equal to 4 meter. That's it. What is the equation? We have to use sigma Z that will be equal to 2 Q divided by pi z into 1 divided by 1 plus x by z whole square to the square. That's it. What is the given quantity q? 600 kilo Newton per meter. What is the x value? 5 meter given. What is the z value given? 4 meter. That's it. Substitute the values. You will get stress at given point that will be equal to 14.5 as every unit distance you are taking in meter, uh, 
load you are taking in kilonewton so you will get the stress unit as kilonewton per meter square okay in the next video we will see how to find the stress due to circular loaded area thank you